now he's got to show the two defeats to Karl Froch are firmly in the rearview mirror. It's time to go out and win that European crown and put himself right in line for another shot at the world title. The man standing in his way, the defending champion, the tall Frenchman, Christopher Reprasse. And what do we get from Groves? As you say, he's one of those guys you never know quite what you're going to get. But it really is interesting, you talk to Rebrasse's team and they genuinely believe Jim. It's not just a bit of talk that, oh well, if this happens, that happens, we'll be all right. They genuinely think that Groves is not as good as certainly Groves thinks he is and that Rebrasse can outbox him tonight. Well, it's certainly well schooled, he's solid. The, the fact that he's known as the iceberg means he's cool under pressure. Because you're not a big puncher doesn't mean you're not tough. So he may have a little bit of grip that uh, could surprise some of us. Groves there uh, throwing the better punches in the early stage of the opener here. A more solid jab from Groves. But you can see they have similar styles there, a good left jab again there from Groves. Rebrasse is uh, standing in range and not getting punches off. So he's been caught napping here. Groves has gotten up into a groove, if you like. A little bit earlier. They're just spearing in these big straight ramrod left jabs. They're not all getting through, but enough of them are. And he swung and missed with the, the big right hand, which is such a weapon. I wonder if Groves is surprised at already at how easy he's managing to find Rebrass. That was a better jab from the Frenchman. Well, I would worry about if uh, Rebrass's team is there, but when the jab lands, he stays there. You know, he stands there, he doesn't move, he doesn't dip and he doesn't move. So when Grove starts falling up to the right hand, there's a good chance that's going to land as well. But it's a good positive start for from Groves. I think he is naturally a confident fellow. You know, and as I say, sometimes I feel like he's playing a part. But uh, you've got to hand it to him. He shows confidence when it's needed. Oh, he has extraordinary confidence, extraordinary self-belief. You need that if you're going to be a success in this game. He has it in abundance. Interesting, even just reading the program, normally the first word is from the promoters, not from this fellow. George Groves wrote the introduction himself. Groves nice is shot. Better. Yeah, good shot. Groves is better head movement. He's dipping, getting inside the jab of Rebrasse. Rebrasse, he's just a little bit stationary with his head. He's just standing there, and as I say, when the jab lands, he's still there. And that is dangerous. There's good variety in this opening round from Groves. He Banged in a really good body shot, threw in an uppercut as well. Well, Rebrasse is the one who has to improve in what he's doing. I think it's been a good start from Groves. He's settled quickly, right down to business. Yeah, good success. Probably just the opening three minutes that he was looking for. What's an Arsenal fan doing in here when there's a Chelsea fan, or an Arsenal player, should I say, when there's a Chelsea fan in the ring? Had a good game today, by all accounts. This fellow's more interested in the Blues, and here's Paddy Fitzpatrick. Right, he goes bad intentions. Well, I think the other guy's hometown, you want a good start, and Rebrasse did not get that. Round two of this 12-rounder, this WBC final eliminator and a battle for Rebrasse's European belt. And let's see if Rebrasse can make some adjustments. He was having some success. It wasn't all one-way traffic in that first round, but Groves was sharper and busier. And Rebrasse looking to try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him here, but you can see that it's the extra hand speed of Groves. That's a weapon. Well, Rebrasse maybe goes in with a 12-round plan and he just boxes his way into the... But he certainly didn't do enough, he didn't look sharp enough. He must know he has to sharpen up, the jab's still working well for Groves. So Rebrasse has to try to take the initiative more than he did in the opener. I want to see Groves follow with a right hand after that jab just to see if it is the result I'm expecting it to have. Got caught with a left hook there, Groves, and then got caught with another left hand, but... 
not sure that rabrasse has got the kind of dig that's going to put Groves on the back foot. We'll get him thinking about things. And again, just out of range, Groves. Rabrasse doing a better job of slipping and blocking here in the early going of this second round. And just not sure those jabs were landing. Just got a clipping little right hand for his pains as well. And a three-punch combination. The third one got through, the first two didn't. Now he's starting to unload here, Groves. Listen to these fans. Rabrasso will need to live up to his nickname. He needs a cool temperament here. Yeah, well, Groves looks like the, certainly the, the, the puncher of the two. But Rabrasso has woken up a little bit. He's certainly improved his work. Has he done enough to... To nick this round, there's still almost a full minute to go in it. Knows his jab still working, good stuff. Yeah, much more competitive now. Rabrasi is beginning to show what he's got. That was better than that double jab there from Groves. That was solid. Well, keeping that high guard, Rabrasi. That's one thing that shows up. You look at film of Christopher Rabrasi. He does keep that high guard. I get the impression that the nosebleed then, that's a solid jab as they're bringing the nosebleed from Rabrasi, but I get the, the, the impression he'll be good over the 12 rounds. So Groves, I mean, has to think about pacing. If he's not landing the, the big shots eh, often enough to force a stop, he's, he better start thinking about the 12 rounds. I think he's solid enough, Rabrasi, and he certainly, he's done better than the second round. I don't think he won it, but he certainly improved. St Mary's. The Saints going marching in. Well, let's see if this Saint can march in. That was a good round. I thought Groves inflicted some damage, but Abrassi is certainly a big improvement on the opening round. Realised they had to sharpen up, and he did that. This is shaping up the Carillo. Good fight. Groves off his stool really early, Abrassi taking the full minute, round three. Rose, of course, had his month out in America. Oh, nice right hand. Caught Rabrasse, did some sparring, of course, with Gennady Golovkin. That's all been talked about, all kinds of stories emerged about what happened in that uh, little spa. Believe what you will. Again, getting that jab to work. Jab's working well for Groves, and he's doubling it there. Well, the double jab can be important against a counter puncher. Good stuff coming back from Rabrasi. Yeah, you want to double up the shots. You don't want to be sending single punches towards a counter puncher. Rabrasse missing badly and getting caught with counters of his own. He threw a long left hand and it was out and up and Groves going after him again. Big right hands coming in. Big spell this for Groves and Rabrasse digging in and firing back. Groves is looking nice and relaxed. You know, so he's not burning up any nervous energy. The jab is working a treat. Bringing the right hand into play now. He's hurt Robert. Rabrasso, he's shown this guy, he has the power. I think he got shaken there, Rabrasso. And when he left himself open, George Groves really jumped in. Just regrouping now, the Frenchman. But that was a good spell for Groves. Just continuing the dominance that he's really shown in the first two rounds. I just think that... The his head is far too still, Rabrasse. Good response, but he needs more head movement if it's not in his style. Then obviously it's too late to adjust to that. But he just stands right there in front of Groves. With all the din and all the punches that Groves is throwing, and he's certainly far the busier, Rabrasse very quietly does land. Yeah, I think that, you know, if it goes to the second half of the fight, there could be big problems for Groves. You know, he's throwing big punches, using up a lot of steam. Maybe he feels an early finish is on the cards.
quick, sharp work again. Groves' timing has always been one of his best qualities. Oh, beautiful uppercut there, Rabrasse bleeding now from the nose pretty heavily. Three rounds in. Yes, it's been terrific for, for me, the better stuff coming from Groves. Certainly the first and the third round. Pretty dominant in the second, That's, you, know, you could see how you liked I, I thought Groves again. He's shown he can hurt Rabras, but at the same time, Rabrasi has shown that he's tough enough and gritty. Yeah, he's taken quite a bit of punishment here. Rabrasi. But Groves, as you say, has put a lot of work into those first three rounds, dominated. Won them all on my card. But as you say, used up a lot of energy. And Rabrasi still there. Seemingly unruffled by it all. Uh, that jab just keeps popping away at him. And even when they don't land, it's just a constant nuisance. And being that Rabrasi is the one with the reach advantage, he's certainly not been allowed to use it. It's clever stuff from Groves. He's just leaning in with that jab, just giving himself the extra couple of inches. It's getting the punch home. First of the punch all the time, isn't he? But uh, Rabrasse looked to try and match him, punch for punch there. And Groves standing toe to toe with him, trying to be the bully, trying to break him up. And Rabrasse needs to find a response here because he's second best. Well, Groves was the first one to break off that little exchange. Maybe he felt he'd done enough and just say uh, stop, start again. But uh, Rabrasse, what was? Quite happy to start oh, that's some good shot. Good left hand at the finish there from Rabrasse. Again, Groves took it very well. Yeah, again, I'm thinking this fellow's gritty enough, he's not a big puncher. But if he's strong and he's tough, that could be a bigger problem over the 12 rounds. And if he can go through the gears in the latter rounds as well, body shot coming in from Groves, good right hand, but Rabrasse took it, tries to come back with something of his own. Uh, who can work the better inside? All a bit messy, the Italian referee says, no, we'll break that up. Well, I think it's still going Groves' his way, but he's using up a lot of steam to keep things where they are. The bass is still looking strong, composed. Getting a decent jab off there as well, the champion. You know, this is a far better fight than expected, far better action. This is really good stuff, quality from both men. Yeah, digging in here, Rabrasse caught with a right hook, though, around the back of the guard. They're doing it again, he's just... Uh, Finding some holes now, Groves, just missed there with the uppercut. But Abrasi is walking through good punches here. I don't know if he can continue to do that. Another round, Groves, good round for Groves, but he's using up a lot of steam. And he's trying to be the bully in there as well, and Abrasi is not allowing himself to be bullied. He's just sticking around, he's always trying to find a response. And Groves can't break his heart, good right hand, but again Rabrasse comes back with something right on the belt. Good fight, as you said, Jim, really good stuff. <laughs> Work rate of jo George Groves, because if you look at these stats, if that's accurate, he is throwing an awful lot of leather. I think he's doing the right thing. When the, the, the foreigners coming over to your neck of the wood, you don't want them to get confidence with a good start, so Groves settles straight away. You know, took charge of the fight, he's landing the better punches, the stronger punches, but I'm a little bit worried. You know, about the work rate, will he be able to sustain this? Because this guy, he looks tough, he looks gritty, and he's well organised. Nothing that's come his way has, has caused him to panic in any way. So he looks like a guy that can stay the 12 rounds. We will see. Yeah, his temperament is certainly sound, his chin's pretty solid. And he's uh, tough as tungsten around the midsection as well, Rabrasse. It's going to take more than just throwing punches from Groves to get rid of this fella. It's going to be a sustained, hurtful, accurate attack. And whenever he does mount one, Rabrasse comes back with something. The signs you want to look for are Groves winning the first four rounds. You want the signs you want to see are the rounds getting closer, which obviously means Rabrasse is getting himself into things as he 
pacing you better? Is he the stronger of the two? As I said before, you can't mix up lack of power by lack of strength and, and, and grit. And Rabrasi has shown a fair bit of that. Listen badly there, Rabrasi. And Groves missed with his left hand follow up as well. That's better. Groves looking to raid a little bit more here, keeping a bit more distance than just stepping in. Landing and getting out that jab, doubling up again. Yeah, this is clever stuff from Groves here. He's just settled down slightly, but getting little bursts of punches out then, backing off, and resetting back in again. He's the more accomplished of the two. The only problem I have is uh, the, the staying power. Because he really is working hard. He's come off the pace slightly here, which is sensible, but still putting a lot in to these punches. Still looks very composed and working within himself, Groves. See, Rabrasi is not a pressure fighter, so that is allowing Groves to pick and choose his times to work, and he's done that more in this round. You, you, you called it raiding tactics, that probably sums Ooh, up. Oh, got him with a left again, yes. Rabrasi. Sorry to jump in on there, Jim, but he does. Catch Groves every once in a while and keeps his attention. I mean, you have to expect him to land some punches. That he, I mean, he's a European champion, I've got a good uppercut there from Groves, but again, Groves, for me, just doing that little bit more in better quality, but he's not knocking very much out of Rebrassi. is still looking composed, organised and strong. Getting through with a right hand there, Groves. And there's another one, but still Rebrassi, Rebrassi looking composed looking as you said Jim earlier organized and not yet knocked out of his rhythm uh, we know Anthony Joshua's in the house he's not the only heavyweight here Ed Robinson has tracked down another one Ed that's right David Price had to come back from two setbacks when he lost to Tony Thompson how difficult was it for you coming back and how do you think George is getting on here yeah, it was a bit different for me because I came back out of the way in Germany. George has come back in, in a high-profile fight in front of a lot of the people and he's doing well. I think he started fast, started aggressively and slowed down a little bit now into the middle rounds. He, his best work's coming off his jab and I think he neglected that in the last round before that one. That round then he just started getting behind the jab a little bit more instead of looking for the pot shot and landing with a big shot because this fella's chipping away, you know, he, he's still in the fight, it's, it's an interesting fight. Thanks a lot, David. I hope you heard that, because the atmosphere in this arena really is a bit special. The band is still playing away. And an impromptu version of the national anthem there as well, just to make Christopher Abrasso feel even less at home. But Groves, for all his work rate, for all the fact that he's built the big lead, Still not consistently on top. Still unable to get rid of him. And another one of those right hands comes through from the Frenchman. His corner loved that. I just don't think Rabrasi is dealing with the jab of Groves well enough. He's, he has the reach. He has a good jab. He builds everything around the jab as well organized boxers normally do. But he's not been allowed to do that. The rounds are getting closer, that's for sure. But this is still clever from Grove, still doubling the jab. Well, that's been the story of the fight, hasn't it, for me? Grove's jab, but lots of variety around that as well. Everything flows from the jab. And Rabrasa, at no point do you feel he's getting on top. He's responding when challenged, but he's not dictating. He doesn't have a lot of success leading off Rabrasi, and that's a problem. See, he's missing again there with the leading punch. He's countering well, but by that time, Groves has already landed a couple of shots. He needs to find a way to get his punches home without taking anything back, and he's never done that in any of the rounds yet. You know, his lead-off work is not good enough, and you've got to credit Groves. You know, his head movement is decent. They get caught square-footed there. Good solid right hand Groves took there. But it's isolated moments, isn't it, for Rabrasso? He does land clean, and he's landing clean enough just to keep himself in the fight. But there, another spearing double jab, and Rabrasso couldn't block either of them off. 
George can work behind this all night long. Then there's the right cross following up. I've been waiting to see more of that right hand because, as I've said before, when Rablasi takes the jab, he leaves his head there, he doesn't do anything about it, doesn't react. So the left, followed by the straight, solid right hand, I'm pretty sure it would work for Groves. He leads with the right hand at times, Groves, but haven't seen the old-fashioned left follow through with the right. I'd love to see him try it out. But this is good, he's out of range. He's teasing Rabrasi yeah, a little bit. He's baiting him, moment. isn't he? He's yep. daring him, just saying, come on, throw your lead. I'll get you with the counter. Rabrasi too cute, staying out of the way. But you just cannot make a case for Rabrasi winning any of these rounds. He's just being outworked and outboxed. And By. We're just about now at the halfway point. We will be as soon as that bell sounds. And for me, so far, this is a shutout and it's looking good for George Groves. And that's looking like a mighty big if at the moment. Now, in toe-to-toe -to -toe trading body shots here. What kind of inside work will we see? Not a lot. It's also tough to work under constant pressure the way that Blas has been asked to do. You know, usually the guy setting the pace, initiating the pressure, lasts the pace better. But Terebrasi is still looking strong, his legs are still strong. But I, I just feel his approach was not good enough. That was better. That got through. Really good trademark right hand from Groves. Didn't seem to trouble Rebrasse, though. Oh, look at that. He says, come on, bring it on. I wonder if that's a sign that he feels the stronger up close. Groves again missing. He's missed pretty wildly with some of his power right hands. It's the jab that's just been the nightmare for Rebrasse. So many of them. And a high percentage of them landing. Good work, good variety. Rebrasse looking to find a response, but cleaner, sharper, accurate work from Groves. But again, Grove standing toe to toe. Well, we'll see who will be the first to break off this exchange. Grove looking just to take a little breather, a little wonder. This really has been fought at a pace. Minute left of this seven. But really big right hand again there from Groves. Big cheer from the crowd. It is. I, you know, I'm almost double-checking myself here because I think Rebrasse has put so much into this and has been around so much, but I can barely give him a share of a couple of rounds. And yet it's not been a one-sided blowout, far from it. Not again, but in this round, the punches, you remember, came from George Groves. And that has been the story of the fight. Three minutes left. Now, listen. Yeah. Stop trying to knock this dude out now. Don't try and be, listen to me. Yeah, Do yeah. not try and be the first dude to stop him. Do you understand me? Yeah. We've made those mistakes. We don't repeat mistakes. Yeah. Just win this title. Just win this fight. Forget about knocking this dude out. He has to come out with everything he has. Yeah. You try to knock him out, you're going to make one mistake, get yourself in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this is round 10 of final round! The final round of what has been a pretty good fight, it has to be said. You heard what Bandy Fitzpatrick said. Take what you've got and keep it. Rabrasse has got to come out and put everything he's got on the line. Yeah, but it's a one-round fight as far as Rebrasi is concerned. He needs the stoppage. He needs to give everything he has here. Groves has to keep the concentration. Don't do anything silly, as his corner have told him. Just get through this. And he goes home, European champion, and back in the world title mix. And, as you say, Jim, a final eliminator for that WBC title, although lots of politics involved there. Anthony Durrell is the champion, and he's due a voluntary before he would have to face Groves. And 
again, it's the same old story. Come out from West London, just peppering away. And all he's got to do is keep it clean here. Stay out of arm's way, and that belt is his. Well, what, a, what an incredible baptism the partnership of Groves and Matty Fitzpatrick had. Those two fights against Froch. They came up short on both occasions, fights we will never forget for many different reasons. But is it third time lucky for that combination? We will know in about a minute and a half. For me, Groves has just been the more complete fighter all the way through this. The brass had terrific courage, terrific determination, but just a little bit straightforward. But he's giving it everything here in the last round. As he has to. And I wonder how much Rabrasso will learn from this and whether we'll see him at this kind of level again. And given all the talent we have at super middleweight in this country, is Rabrasso's name going to pop up in his opponent in the future? Last minute of this fight, and what a good fight it's been. If Rabrasso's got anything, now is the time to deliver it. Got a left hand through there, but at no point have you ever thought he's got the power. And Groves covering up. And then trading again. What was Fitzpatrick saying? Don't try and knock him out. Well, adrenaline's kicked in. Some Last good, few seconds. Some good work there from Rabrasso. This has been a terrific last round. You know, to top off a terrific fight. This has been terrific stuff. Uh, he's lost his belt, but he's made Groves go out and take it from him. No disgrace in this. And what a return for George Groves. Just what he needed. What a good fight that was. Good entertainment from the first round to the last. Well, that's what the stats are saying. I mean, that's a phenomenal work rate from Groves, it really is. Now, Groves was terrific all the way through. Rebrassi made him work every second of every round, and that's exactly what he did. He didn't stop throwing punches. The jab was key, the double jab preventing Rabrasi from getting into the fight. It's a landslide victory for Groves, but I don't think Rabrasi has done his reputation any harm here. He's tough, he's determined, he's well organised, and this is a fight that he'll watch the tape of and maybe realise he has to add a little bit more to his game, a little bit more subtlety. But George Groves it was terrific from start to finish. As I said, when this match was made, I fancied Grove round about the halfway stage. I didn't give full credit to Rabrasi, but the part he played was terrific and a great 12-rounder. Yeah, it really was. I mean, you know, like you, I've got it a complete blowout, but that's as entertaining a blowout as I've seen in a long time. The judges are from Italy, Hungary and the Netherlands. And in a few moments, we will find out what's next for Groves. The European belt. And one step closer to the WBC title held by Anthony Durrell, of course, though, given his promotional banner with the...